Their Excellencies, the Right Honourable Dame Patsy Reddy, Governor General of New Zealand, and Sir David Gascoigne. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, warm greetings to you all and welcome to Government House. I specifically acknowledge the Honourable James Shaw, Minister of the Crown, our Komatua Professor Pili Shasha, and our Kuya Terebua Higgins. Tēnā koutou. It's a great pleasure to host this investiture ceremony for 12 honour recipients in the presence of their family and friends and formally recognise the contributions they have made to our country. As Governor-General, I have the authority and the privilege on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of New Zealand, to hold an investiture ceremony and to confer the honours to which each recipient is entitled. Ladies and gentlemen, as each person is honoured, I invite you to join me in thanking and congratulating them for their service to our country. Mr. Ward Carmel will now summon the recipients and read a citation for each one. Thank you, Your Excellency. To receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs. Faye Sumner of Auckland, for services to the medical technology sector. Faye Sumner is Chief Executive Officer of the Medical Technology Association of New Zealand, MTANZ. She has developed the relationship between MTANZ and stakeholder groups. She played a key role in developing and embedding the code of practice for the medical technology industry. She has provided governance through a range of board appointments in the medical and research fields and has been an advocate for local startup companies in the New Zealand medtech sector. She helped grow the annual medical technology conference into what is now Health Tech Week. Mrs Sumner is a member of the APEC Code of Business Ethics for Medical Devices Working Group and has contributed to international organisations such as the Medical Technology Association of Australia and Advermed in the United States.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an Officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit. Mr Geoffrey Blanks of Auckland for services to comedy. Scott Blanks helped found The Classic in Auckland, New Zealand's first dedicated comedy club, and is considered to be the godfather of New Zealand comedy. He is now The Classic's sole director. The venue hosts more than 350 live shows a year with tens of thousands of attendees. Mr Blanks is particularly dedicated to the development of new comedians and launched the annual Raw Comedy Quest to search for the funniest new faces of the year. The Raw Comedy Quest has grown nationally, expanding to different cities and including comedians from around the country. Mr Blanks has attended the Classics weekly Raw open mic nearly every Monday since it opened, taking in more than 800 shows. He has helped mentor many of the successful rookies into careers as full-time professional comedians. Mr Robert Kerridge of Havelock North for services to animal welfare and governance. Bob Kerridge is former executive director of the SPCA in Auckland and former national president of the RNZ SPCA. He was a member of the New Zealand World Society for the Protection of Animals Board and the St John Auckland Trust Board and Priory. In conjunction with St John, he developed outreach therapy pets. He established the SPCA CAT Coalition to support volunteer efforts. He was founding chair of Companion Animal Workshops and, in association with the New Zealand Veterinary Association, established the New Zealand Companion Animal Council. Recently, he established the Bob Kerridge Animal Welfare Fellowship to recognise animals, humans and the environment living in harmony. Mr Kerridge established the St James Saviours Group to preserve Auckland's St James Theatre and later founded the St James Auckland Trust. Associate Professor Michael O'Brien of Auckland for services to social policy and education. Michael O'Brien is a social policy academic who was taught in social work programs for 38 years. He was part of the management committee of the Child Poverty Action Group and of the expert panel established by the Human Rights Commission on Right to an Adequate Standard of Living. He convened the Inequality and Poverty Group of the New Zealand Council of Christian Social Services. He helped establish Impact Research New Zealand as an independent research unit. He was a board member of the Waipuna Puawai Mercy Oasis Community Development Project and Auckland City Mission. He chaired the Welfare Justice Reform Group appointed by Caritas, Benefit Advocacy Coordinators and Anglican Social Justice Commission. Associate Professor O'Brien's text, Social Policy in Aotearoa New Zealand, is used extensively in universities and polytechnics.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit. Ms Leanne Graham of Auckland for services to the software industry. Leanne Graham was division manager of Exonet 6 until 2001 when she purchased the division and co-founded Enprise Solutions, an ERP software service provider. After eight years as Enprise's general manager of global and sales and marketing director, she was appointed general manager of sales and New Zealand country manager of Xero. She founded strategic investment company Cloud Rainmakers Limited and became CEO of the fledging software provider GeoOp. Through Cloud Rainmakers and her advisory service, I Execute SAAS Limited, she has helped a range of software companies grow to export success. Ms Graham is chair of Australian ASX Business Falpec and sits on advisory boards of multiple cloud accounting software companies. Mr. Daryl Suasua of Drury for services to rugby. Daryl Suasua was coach of the Black Ferns, leading them to two Women's Rugby World Cup victories. He was the selector and manager of the first ever Women's World 15 team. He is currently Mitre 10 Cup County's Monaco head coach. He coached the Black Ferns Sevens team to place as runners up in the world's, uh, Women's Sevens World Cup. He is a member of the Auckland Maris Brothers Old Boys Club, where he has been a player and coach. He has coached the Bombay Rugby Football Union and developed a coaches squad there. Mr Suasua is co-author of the World Rugby Sevens coaching courses and the World Rugby coaching courses. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an honorary member of the New Zealand Order of Merit. Reverend Setaita Vaikune of Auckland for services to the Pacific community. Setaita Vaikune is President-elect of the Methodist Church of New Zealand, the first Pacific woman to hold the position. She was the first Pacific uh, Minister to superintend an English-speaking multicultural synod, the Monaco Synod of the Methodist Church of New Zealand the first female parish superintendent minister for the Auckland Monaco Dongan people and the first woman elected to be synod, uh, superintendent minister for Wahevonua Donga o Aotearoa National Synod. Reverend Vaikune is director of missionary sourcing, Pasifika Ministries of the Methodist Church of New Zealand and has been president of the Donga District Methodist Women's Fellowship and the Auckland Monaco Parish Women's Fellowship.
Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal. Mrs. Alison Brearley of Auckland for services to sport and education. Alison Brearley has been a primary school teacher for more than 50 years, teaching at Manurewa South School and Hill Park School. She has organised sporting events and tutored Māori cultural and kapahaka groups. She mentors and supports disadvantaged children and has assisted many Māori and Pacific Island children to gain scholarships. She held administration and coaching roles with the Manurewa Netball Association and the Manurewa Athletic and Harrier Club. She was president of the Maritime Māori Netball Club. She was a track umpire at the 1990 Commonwealth Games and is a Papakura Athletic and Harrier Club Committee member. Mrs. Elizabeth Nofke of Auckland for services to music. Betty Nofke is a piano teacher with students ranging from beginners to accomplished learners. She has held a range of positions on the Institute of Registered Music Teachers, IRMT board. She convened the Centennial Conference in Auckland and compiled and wrote a history of IRMT in Auckland for this event. She developed and convened the West Auckland Student Performance Group to improve access to performance opportunities for young students in the area. She launched the West Auckland Performing Arts Competitions. Mrs Nofke is an active committee member of the Blockhouse Bay Community Centre. Ms. Geraldine Pomeroy of Hamilton for services to people with disabilities. As an access coordinator for CCS Disability, Jerry Pomeroy has worked to improve public transport services for disabled people. She conducted an audit of the accessibility of Ōtorohangas, uh, public places that resulted in a series of accessibility measures being implemented. She co-initiated the Measuring Accessible Journeys project which identified that upgrading public infrastructure areas could lead to a large increase in mobility aid users accessing public spaces. Ms Pomeroy is National President of the Disabled Persons Assembly and a member of the Leadership Group for the Enabling Good Lives Initiative. Mrs Margaret Slade and Mr Stuart Slade of All Portiki for services to conservation. Margaret Slade and her husband Stuart Slade were foundation members of the Nukuho Salt Marsh Care Group. The salt marsh is home to rare and endangered bird species 
and they have led the way in restoring it to health. The group has extended to include care for the Nukuhau River margins and Uretara Island. Mr and Mrs Slade are skilled <laughs> potters and have created and donated life-size replicas of birds found within the salt marsh. They are members of Ngā Tapuwai o Tāne Atua Tramping Club and helped instigate a project to re-establish native bush and the scenic walk between Wainui Road and the adjacent uh, river. Mr Slade was president of Ngā Tapuwai o Tāne Atua Tramping Club, overseeing working bees to keep the Bākehi track open until it was developed into part of the Mōtu Trails cycleway. Your Excellency, the investiture is concluded. An investiture ceremony is the most important event I hold on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. It's an occasion where the Governor-General, on behalf of all New Zealanders, recognises and thanks an extraordinary group of people for their achievements. By using their talents to make ours a better society, whether by service to their communities or by their leadership in diverse fields of endeavour or their commitment to excellence in their field of expertise. Our recipients inspire others to excel in their own endeavours. To the recipients, it's been a privilege to hear your stories and appreciate the qualities that have enabled you to serve others to achieve success or to make an outstanding contribution in your own field. In your own way, each of you has helped make New Zealand a better place to live. In some cases, your influence and the positive impact of your work has extended beyond our shores. Your actions and the stories we've heard reflect the spirit of the words of another great New Zealander, Sir Paul Callaghan, who said, what greater sense of fulfilment can there be but to make a difference to the community in which you live? Your contributions have enriched the cultural, social and economic fabric of Aotearoa New Zealand. Please wear your insignia with pride, knowing that your communities appreciate and value the impact of your work and are inspired by your example. On behalf of the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and I thank you for your service to our country. Kia ora hui hui tato katoa. Ladies and gentlemen, that almost brings to a close the formal part of today's ceremony. But before we break for refreshments, I ask you to stand and sing the national anthem in Māori and in English.